the man, described as a self-taught rocket scientist, is preparing to prove astronauts fabricated the fact the Earth is round, by launching himself in a homemade rocket. Mad Mike Hughes plans to launch himself 1,800 feet, 550 meters, high in his scrap metal contraption, and fly through the air at 500 miles per hour, 800 kph, above the Mojave Desert. Ultimately, the 61-year-old limo driver's goal is to get 10 miles high so he can prove the Earth is disc-shaped, and this weekend's flight marks the first step in his bizarre flat-Earth space program. Those who believe the flat-Earth theory claim our planet is shaped like a flat disc instead of a sphere. Because Earth's surface looks and feels flat when we walk around it, the conspiracy theorists denounce all evidence to the contrary. The leading theory suggests Earth is a disk with the Arctic Circle in the center and Antarctica, a 150-foot tall, 45-meter, wall of ice, around the rim. Theorists claim that satellite images and evidence pointing to a spherical Earth are part of a round Earth conspiracy orchestrated by NASA and other government agencies. Followers of the bizarre theory also claim the Earth is stationary in space, rather than orbiting the Sun. But the international scientific community has consistently denounced the bizarre theory, putting forward decades of space imagery and astronomical research to back their claims. Mr. Hughes has spent the last few years building a steam-powered rocket out of salvage parts in his garage. His project has cost him $20,000, £15,000, which includes Rust-Oleum paint to fancy it up, and a motorhome he bought on Craigslist, that he converted into a ramp. He plans to strap into his homemade contraption and hurtle over the ghost town of Amboy, which has a population of four, in the Mojave Desert, and along historic Route 66. I don't believe in science, said Hughes, whose main sponsor for the rocket is Research Flat Earth. It'll shut the door on this ball Earth, he said in a fundraising video, while explaining that NASA is controlled by round Earth Freemasons and Elon Musk is making fake rockets. down the line, he's intending to build a rocket that takes him to space so he can snap a picture and prove with his own eyes that the Earth is flat. It's scary as hell, but none of us are getting out of this world alive. I like to do extraordinary things that no one else can do, and no one in the history of mankind has designed, built and launched himself in his own rocket, said Mr. Hughes. I know about aerodynamics and fluid dynamics, and how things move through the air about the certain size of rocket nozzles and thrust. But that's not science, that's just a formula. There's no difference between science and science fiction.
This will actually be the second time he's constructed and launched a rocket. He jumped on a private property in Winkleman, Arizona in January 2014, and traveled 1,374 feet, 419 meters. He collapsed after that landing the G forces taking a toll and needed three days to recover. That distance, though, would have been enough to clear the Snake River Canyon, which is a jump daredevil level Nevil made famous when he failed to clear it during his attempt in 1974. Stuntman Eddie Braun did successfully zoom over the canyon using Neville's original blueprints in September 2016. Mr. Hughes constructed his latest rocket at the Rocket Ranch in Apple Valley, California. I want to inspire others and you have to do something incredible to get anybody's attention, Mr. Hughes said. The fictional town of Radiator Springs in the Disney movie Cars was loosely based on a boy. Mr. Hughes got permission from the town's owner, Albert Akura, who purchased the rights to Amboy in 2005 for $435,000, £328,000. The launch will take place on an airstrip next to a dilapidated hangar. It is absolutely the most wacky promotional proposal I have had since I purchased the entire town in 2005, said Mr. Akura, who's also the founder of the Juan Polo restaurant chain. He's a true daredevil and I want to be part of it. On the morning of the launch, Mr. Hughes will heat about 70 gallons of water in a stainless steel tank and then blast off between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. He plans to go about a mile high before pulling two parachutes. It will be televised on his YouTube channel. Following his jump, he said he's going to announce his plans to leap into the race for governor of California.